Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Band here, and today I'm bringing you a uh, 3 vs. 2 port assault in Total War Rome 2. Um, I had to think about it for a minute because it is a port assault battle, but not a lot of people brought many ships, so it's technically a siege battle. But it was one of my uh, really fun replays that I did end up saving. So, without further ado, we'll check out the army comps, and then we'll start the battle. It's not that long, about 20 minutes. Uh, but yes, I am playing as Sparta, so you can see that I've got the Royal Spartans as my general. And then I have four units of Royal Spartans, and four units of Spartan pikemen. Then I have uh, some Spartan hoplites, I believe five units of them, yes. And I've got a uh, Periorque Spears. These guys are pretty cheap, but it was probably just some leftover money that I had. They're uh, pretty lightly armored. Shields look excellent, though. They're not even wearing shoes. <laughs> Do these other guys have shoes? Oh, no. I guess they all fight in socks. Or, sorry, all fight without uh, shoes on. Interesting. Uh, and then we got uh, four units of Helot Archers. So that's pretty much my army there. And then the second unit is the Missalians. So he's got uh, four units of Thorax Swordsmen in his siege equipment. And he's got three units of Mercenary Gallic Hunters. Which I can zoom in for you. And we've got three Missalian Hoplites, I believe. Or six, actually. He's got six. Seven Missalian Hoplites. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of Missalian Hoplites. And then he's got uh, another two units of Thorax Swordsmen. So that makes six total. So he brought six and six. And then his general is also a Missalian Hoplite unit. And he's got some Hippeus Lancers, so that's a shock cav. And he brought one unit of artillery ships. And looking at the last ally for us, we've got the Romans over here. So he's got, let's see what he's got here. He's got some Praetorians. Four or five, seven units of Praetorians. As you can tell, very high money battle. He's got uh, two units of auxiliary infantry. We got uh, or three units actually, and then he's got some more Praetorian guards. So it looks like nine Praetorian guard here, and we've got uh, some Velites. One, two, three, and then three units of auxiliary Syrian archers, and then he's got his Legatus there. I love these little like uh, these battering rams, these tortoises. They look pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all of uh, our armies. So we'll get started on the battle, and once we can see the enemies, we will uh, kind of take a look position. at their army comps as the battle is going. But you can see that the the Nervi tribe, uh, he brought uh, five units of the Celtic Ballista ship. So we're going to want to stay far away from far away from their range for sure but yeah you can see that we've got the siege equipment moving forwards towards the wall I love how you can see the guys in it too as it rolls forwards they are ready to go Double time. That's a really nice mechanic. I really like how they've got uh, Quick march. the ability to see the unit That's there, safe. and then they've got like the two the two units at the top as well, and it's got like a like a little scorpion at the top. I wonder if they they actually fire that. I didn't even know they had a scorpion up there. That is really cool. Yeah, we, you can see that our armies are moving forwards. And the Missalian, uh, Missalian Ballista is trying to take out the, uh, the Nervi tribe's Ballistas, but uh, he is heavily outnumbered. He may get a couple hits here, though. Nice. 22 damage. So you can see that uh, some of the troops are starting to come into view at the gatehouse here. So we got an Egyptian player here, so he's got three units of hoplites, looks like, about to hold the gates. But the walls are pretty much 
taken without any contest at all. So I've got my Spartan Hoplites claiming the walls. You can see that the Massalian player as well, he is claiming the walls. There's his troops there. Taking a look at the other side, we've got the Roman player pushing forwards with his siege equipment. You can see that the Egyptian player has got some hoplites over here. And he's got some mercenary veteran hoplites, some mercenary Cretan archers. These veteran hoplites are pretty beefy. And it looks like uh, he did have set his archers up on the wall, but they uh, he pulled them off, which is the smart thing to do. You can see the uh, great tortoises coming in. Ready to smash down the walls. Nice. So that is breaking the wall down there. Creating a choke point. Wow, these do a lot of damage to the walls too. Ooh, look at that. As you can see from the point of these archers, what they're going to see. There it goes. The wall is broken down, so we are creating some breach points on the other side to engage. Oh, but you can see here that the Egyptians have some horses that are coming after the archers. The Roman player is going to charge in his general to try to stop them. Good play here, just creating a lot of havoc. Good charge into the Velites here. So yeah, we've got a battle on the outside here. That's a, that's like a flashback to Medieval 2 there. That's the classic, classic uh, siege move in Medieval 2, charging out with cavalry. But you can see that uh, Rome has conquered this side of the walls pretty much with no contest. And on the other side as well, you can see that we are trying to push through. The gates, I believe, have been destroyed. Yes, they have. Got some fighting here. Balance of power was quite against them to begin with, but they did have the city. But well, you can see here, we're gonna clash with the Egyptian hoplites. We got Egyptian versus Spartan hoplites here. As far as stats goes, I actually don't know which one would be better. Egyptian hoplites of higher attack. Actually, it looks like the Egyptian hoplites are better than my Spartan hoplites. We have more melee defense, but they have more melee attack. Interesting. So yeah, you can see the Massalians uh, pouring through the gate here. We're flanking around with some of the other Massalian hoplites. These guys do look pretty epic, pretty heavily armored. You can see that I flanked around with another Spartan unit uh, because he did have an Egyptian hoplite unit in reserve. Um, I don't remember what the money situation was, but I think we did have... I, I, it was a very high money battle, but I don't remember exactly what what the actual figures were. But yes, you can see that the Roman player, he pretty much conquered this uh, whole area without much trouble. We've got the uh, Cav coming back in here. He quickly forms a Testudo. So that was a good move there. Oh, did get a good charge there, though. So just trying to annoy the Roman player a little bit more. You can see the Egyptians, they've got their archers positioned to fire at the Praetorians. And the kind of last stand defense is over here. Uh, we've got a lot of old sworn, which are extremely uh, deadly. Probably one of the best infantry in the game. And he's got a lot of them. Looks like five or six units. We 
We got the, the two generals over here, an O Sworn and a Pick Top Light unit. You can see the Massalians are flanking around here. Pretty much un uh, uncontested. Yes, but my Perry Arcade Spears obviously are breaking. No surprise there. But we get a good flank here with my Spartan Hoplites on the Egyptian Hoplites. So they are now sandwiched in between two fronts. That looks pretty epic there. Fighting back to back pretty much. You can see the Spartan officer there. Oh, and the Athenian officer uh, is right there as well. I believe that's the officer. Or maybe not. There's a lot uh, with with uh, little red plumes. And then you can see over here, too, that we flanked this Athenian hoplite unit as well. So they are also sandwiched. they will break pretty quickly but yeah it was some it was some good communication between me and the Missalian player we were we managed to kind of cut through a lot of these hoplite units quite easily just because we were able to kind of overwhelm their defense but you can see on this side here uh, we've got uh, two units of Ulsworn and we got a picked hoplite unit so this is going to be a very hard flank for the Missalians they're kind of making this V defense here and over on this side, they've also got uh, mercenary veteran hoplites and a pick hoplite unit. And he's moving his archers up onto here, which I thought was really cool. Uh, you don't you don't see this too often in Total War games where people utilize the buildings, but in some of the cities, there are buildings like this where you can put troops up on. And uh, I think that was a great idea. You can also see that from this vantage point, he is able to fire on my. Uh, Spartan Hoplites there. Getting a couple kills as well. But I am trying to uh, capture all these towers here. You can see that we've got another pick top light unit with some archers on this side. And the rest of my force is just coming through this gate that we captured here. And the Massalians is funneling through this way. Moving back to the Roman side. He's kind of just waiting here for us to get into position because we want to make sure that we are attacking together but you can see that there's some traps here as well i think these are the brimstone pits yeah they are you can see the artillery ships are coming in uh, hopefully they'll be able to get some shots i think that's what the uh, nervy player is counting on But yeah, not uh, the Missalian player rightly is uh, pretty hesitant to attack this flank here. This will be a hard flank. Yeah, you can see he's bringing up uh, all of his uh, archers to try to whittle them down on this side. But pretty much uncontested here. And this is where they kind of made another little mistake. Um, because these two units here, I'm going to be able to engage and then... It's completely open for a flank from behind, and it's open for a flank to the left here. So this position here is a tough position, but they've completely left it open for attack. But you can see there's another Osworn unit tucked in here. Oh yeah, you see the artillery ships are getting some good shots. And the archers too, ripping up these Thorax swordsmen, so I think he realizes he just needs to get them into melee. Yes, you can see that I'm engaging my pikes into the veteran hoplite unit. And this is where we will have the advantage. Even though this is a mercenary veteran hoplite unit, uh, they're not going to stand up to pikes. There's just no way. kill there. Very nice. 
So you can see that he withdrew his archers because I'm chasing them away with some of my hoplites. So he's trying to pull back to the kind of main square. And the Romans are still waiting. I don't know if he's uh, firing with them. No, I think he's used all his ammo. He's positioning his troops uh, to try to attack on as many fronts as possible. You can see that the Egyptians have another hoplite unit here. So, like, the defenders, they did well, um, but because they were so outnumbered, I think it would have been beneficial if they tried to defend a lesser, a lesser uh, area. So, like, if they closed off this choke point, and then this one here, and then maybe one here, and led the two there, like, that's five. So, like, that's a big area, but you can see here they're doing one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Well, I'll count that as seven because he's kind of blocking this way. Eight. Like, it's just so many unnecessary points where we can come in and flank around. But we do have the general, the pick top light unit. He is engaging here. And uh, I wasn't paying attention here, and uh, the mercenary veteran hoplites did engage my hoplites. But you can see that we've got, uh, we're closing the jaws here on this unit. We've got the pikes on one side, we've got hoplites on the uh, flank, and we've got another hoplite unit kind of circling around. So yeah, these guys, these guys will die. None of them are escaping here today. Oh, I just love this game. So they're getting cut down there. You can see the rest of my forces just pouring in with my pikemen. You can see that I still have a lot of my Royal Spartans. They're very fresh. At the double. Quick march. Yeah, you can see our Royal Spartans coming over here to this flank. The general has engaged. Some of the old sworn units are getting pretty chewed up, but on this flank, uh, we are losing quite heavily. <laughs> With the uh, help of the artillery ships, a lot of the Vesalian infantry, they're just breaking. They can't handle it. Do have the archers, though, trying to put down some of the hurt. You can see that I'm kind of reforming a defensive line. Even though I'm an offensive player, I'm going to form this heavy line of Royal Spartans, and I'm going to slowly inch them forwards and kind of close the gap a bit. I'm impressed at uh, this picked top light unit. They are holding on. What are my archers shooting at? Oh, they're wrecking, uh, they're wrecking the Egyptian archers. Spartan hoplite unit was about to break there, but we managed to cut down the remainder of Egypt's archers. This guy's trying to run around out of the way. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That was crazy. <laughs> yep, all dead there. All dead. The uh, Roman general cleaning up the rest here. Have they engaged yet? Oh, they are just about to engage. Praetorians charging forwards. So this one unit's gonna fight on, hopefully hold the Roman onslaught. Got some, uh, ooh, yep, yep. He's dead. Oh, oh yeah, he was dead too, yep. Let's watch this uh, Celtic guy here. Is he gonna try to attack, or what is he doing? So, looking back here, yeah, so I've got some pikemen forming up over here. Uh, although, which way are they facing? That's a bad position. Oh, they're attacking some of these Osworn. Yeah, I do uh, change the position as quickly as I can because the hoplite unit is coming down. 
And I've got my archers coming forwards as well to help out. So you can see I've engaged two of my Royal Spartans on this side and two of my Royal Spartans over here as well. But uh, the Missalian player, they, they did withdraw, and then the uh, Nervi player pulled his Osworn over here to attack on this flank. Yeah, let's see what the archers are doing here, though. Yeah, because my, uh, my pikes are getting attacked from the flank here. You can see all the archers are getting some good uh, rear hits, though, on this Osworn unit. I think my pike unit does break there. Yeah, they uh, they break, but that's okay. That was a that was a good move by the enemy uh, defenders. But you can see that I'm forming a new pike line, and I'm gonna close the gap over here on these hoplites with my smart hoplites. And we are gonna hold and just rain arrows down on the uh, most sworn over here. The Egyptians on this side, they are holding. Uh, you can see that the Romans are withdrawing. Uh, I would have stuck with it a little longer. They were, oh yeah, there he goes. He realizes, hey, they're about to break. So uh, he commits his infantry back in there. And what are we else be looking at here? I think almost all the infantry is broken. Ma mainly this is the last fight. We got the Royal Spartans against the general. So we can watch the rest of the fight over here. Let's try and get a better shot over here. So there's the uh, brave o Sworn fighting to the last. I wish I could tell you which one's the general, but I don't know. Uh, it's possibly this one, because his headdress is pretty unique, this guy back here. We got some arrows coming in. You can see the uh, artillery is firing as well, but uh, there we go. The general does break, and that ends the battle. So let's take a look at the results. Um, so thanks very much to my allies, and thanks very much to my enemies. Uh, this was a good battle. Um, I do give the uh, Egyptian Nervi team credit. Uh, they were heavily outnumbered, as you can see here. Two, four, six thousand uh, to about mm, 3,400. So about two to one. And they, they did give up the walls. So that kind of... Once we got inside, then the, the advantage for them by being inside the city was gone. Uh, so if they had tried to hold the walls a little longer and uh, kept the arrow towers uh, firing, uh, they may have done a little better, but uh, th they did well considering how outnumbered they were. But uh, yeah, you can see uh, my archers doing quite well, the rest of my infantry doing pretty well. Uh, the Roman player also doing quite good. Um, a lot of his Praetorians could have done better, but the I just don't think there were enough enemies to kill, honestly. And the Missalians uh, also doing quite well. Uh, a couple of his Thorax Swordsman units got chewed up, but uh, the rest of them performing decently. The Egyptian player doing really decent. A lot of his archers getting some good kills, and a lot of his hoplites, he used them very effectively. Uh, and his picked hoplites were good as well. And then you can see the Old Sworn obviously preparing, or sorry, performing very well. But they are all sworn, so uh, maybe wasted a lot of his money on these artillery ships. They did get some kills, but if he had got a couple more oh, sworn units, would have been probably better. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Total War Rome 2 content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.